Okay, guys, welcome to Metabolic 15. Today we have three big circuits and we have lots of different work, lots of options you can dial up or down to make it work for you, whatever level you're at today. Um, we got some power work, we got some agility work. It's gonna be awesome. Um, working a little bit, uh, a little bit with endurance, um, but it's still gonna be full body metabolic. So we'll get strength and uh, cardio. So let's get our music going and we will get warmed up. and you don't need any equipment. Okay, we are going to start down with our half open kneel, making sure that foot's right in line with the knee, opening up the hip as you slide the knee over the toe. Go nice and slow. Think about relaxing your, your left glute. My, if you're on the same side as I am. Five here before you switch, you guys know the drill. We're gonna take this opposite hand down and then open up that palm to me as you move into that two reach like you and I are about to high five. Follow your thumb with your eye. We're going for five here. Slow. Make sure you finish at the bottom, just like you start at the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Bring that right knee up. Drive the knee over the toe. If you guys have any questions today, I put you all on mute, but please just unmute yourself and speak up. All right, once you hit five, you're taking that opposite hand down and open up to a T. The more you follow your thumb with your eye, the deeper stretch you'll be able to get, more mobility. All right, last one here. Finish your rep at the bottom. We're gonna move into our down dog. So go ahead, find a good, oops, back. find a good spot for you. Drive those hips up to the sky. What I want you to focus on right now is relaxing your shoulder blades and letting them slide down your back. We're just gonna hang out in this position for a second. It's okay if your knees are a little bit bent or if your heels are off the ground. Totally up to you. So relax those shoulders. Relax your neck. All right, now really imagine that I've got a seat belt pulling your hips up to the ceiling, okay? As high as you possibly can. And let's go ahead and pedal the feet if it feels good for your body this morning. And deepen the stretch a little bit into the calf but don't stop lifting those hips into the ceiling. I say this all the time, but the hips are the junk drawer of the body. And this is such an awesome move and position for those hips as long as you're doing it right. All right, let's go ahead and slowly roll over to pop a push up hold one vertebrae at a time. Before you lower down into that plank, I want you to bring your back foot up into a deep lunge. If you need to drop the knee, that's totally fine. You can be right here. In that deep lunge, we're gonna open up into a T reach into, into the inside of your leg. Bring it back down. If you're up for the, the balance challenge, you're gonna open up to the outside. Bring it back down. Go ahead and drive that knee back to the top of push up hold and switch legs. Remember, if you're down on your knee, that's totally great. Really relax this hip. Allow your body to just fold in that hip flexor. All right, open up to the inside with that T reach. So towards me, looking up at your thumb. Back down if you're up for the balance challenge. Open up the opposite direction. 
and back down. We're gonna go back into that top of push up hold. Drive those hips back up into down dog. Kind of play with the move here. Do you wanna pedal the feet? Do you wanna bring it into a three legged dog? Play with it, see what feels right for you this morning. All right, you're gonna slowly walk those feet as close to your hands as possible. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. And just kind of ragdoll. If you want to grab your elbows and swing, you can. So think about relaxing your neck. Roll most of your body weight onto the balls of your feet. A bit longer. I want you to walk your hands over to the right side, but don't move your feet. And then we're gonna move them over to the left. Back to center, and then let's slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. All right, you guys should be feeling warm. We are gonna get going with our first circuit. Let's switch up our music here. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, I'll tell you this first. The way this is gonna work is similar to last week. You guys are gonna follow along with me We've got short circuits where we're gonna take minimal rest. So go ahead and take a rest, have a breather, grab a sip of water, jump back in when you're ready um, and follow along. Like I said, there'll be lots of options that we can dial up or dial down. And if you guys have any questions, speak up at any time. Okay. All right, so first we're gonna work some core. So go ahead and start making your way down to your front plank. Again, if you wanna do this, I don't have a wall to sam uh, demo this very well, but if you wanna do it up against the wall today, that's totally great if you're not getting on the ground. All right, when you're ready, we're starting just in a regular front plank. If you want to make it harder, use those heels, knees, and glutes, and armpits. We are going. Hop into position when you're ready. All right, you can take breaks in between, but we're gonna move right up into a side plank. Options here, stagger the feet, top foot in front, or you can stack the feet. If you stagger the front, you have another option of dropping one knee. those hips closed. Don't let them open up towards the ceiling. Stick with it. All right, we're gonna roll over to the other side. If you wanna drop the knees, you can. Pushing those hips high to the sky. Open those hips up, back right on top. All right, you got three more seconds. And then we are coming to a standing position. And we have an inchworm to a push up. So remember that inchworm, drop into a hinge, inchworm your way out to top of push up hold, and you have one push up. Lots of options with our push ups here. You can plant the feet or you can move into table position, okay? All right. And then after your push up, inchworm back up. All right, we're going. Join in when you're ready. Inchworm. Push up. Make sure you got 45 degree angles in your armpits on that push up. You can take the pace faster than me or slower than me. You're getting that heart rate warmed up. You're firing up the core.
squeeze, squeeze on that push up. Couple more reps. All right, on this last rep, stay out in your push ups. We're going single push ups, okay? Take it at your own pace. You want to elevate these on a couch or a countertop. That is a great option. Two more. Whatever pace you're at. Nice work, you guys. Right back into our front plank, so don't get up. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Knees up. Check those hips, are they sinking or piking? Not one solid line. All right, rotate into that side plank to the front. Keep those hips high. Stick with it. Don't forget to breathe. All right, make your rotation to the back. Check those hips, are they opening up? Make sure that top one is stacked right on top of the bottom. All right, guys, go ahead and drop the knees. Come to standing, you guys know what's next. We have our inchworm. In our push-up, we're going in three, two, one. It's time to pick up the pace just a little bit from last time. You wanna plant the knees? Do so. on your way up on that push-up. And now on your way down. All right, guys, this is the last rep. So bottom of this inch firm, single push-ups. Eight of them, okay? Take your own pace. Take your variation. more of you with me. All right, let's work you guys. Sit back. We're gonna do one more round, okay? Give you 15 seconds of recovery. Grab a little sip of water if you want. We're gonna stick with the fight here. This is a full body core work circuit. All right, guys, we're going down in front plank. One more round in three, two, one, knees up, unsqueezed. This is a good time to check those shoulders. Do you feel hunched over like you're rounding your shoulders forward? All right, you guys, rotate to the front. Side plank. Remember your options. the bottom knee. All right, rotate to the back one last time. Pinch up that waistband. Elbows stack right under your shoulder. All right, guys, drop the knee. 
Right back to that inchworm. You guys are almost done with push-ups. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. This is your fastest pace yet. Like the speed I'm seeing. Good job, Suzy. You're warmed up. Alright guys, at the bottom of this one, single push-up, eight, pick your pace, pick your level, remember you can table talk. Last one. Alright guys, take those hips back to the heels for the child's pose. Out. All right, grab a sip of water, take a little break. We're gonna go through our next circuit. All right, similar format with this circuit. You guys are just gonna follow me. Jump in when you want, take breaks when you need, grab sips of water when you need. We've got kind of a power circuit here. So if you're more than warmed up, I wanna see you maxing out effort with every single rep at this point. All right, we are starting with a little pattern. We're gonna go four skaters, so four on each leg, followed by eight runs in place, okay? Jump in with me when you guys are ready. We're getting the heart rate up there. So you're exploding out of that foot. Your arms are kind of making an infinity sign. And those heels up. You guys last run here we're gonna move into single skaters after your eight keep going don't start running we're picking it up we're moving inch further on each side Stick with it keep those hips square all right guys follow me we're moving into four lunges followed by four single leg squats so what you're gonna do here on the side see my weight is not on this front leg slide that knee right over the toe so four lunges, four single leg squats, and you're gonna switch sides. So follow me. Bring that back leg in, and your single leg squat on your left leg. Switch legs, now left leg back. Make sure you rotate legs each time. Warming up those glutes and the hammies. Last one here, you guys, on each leg. Two, one, nice work, you guys. 
Moving right back into that uh, four skater, eight skater, whatever you hear for you think about. Four on each leg and eight runs. We're going in. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's pick it up. Let your arm be momentum. Don't give up. This is your workout, not mine. Fell asleep and had a dream. We were sailing away. Woke up smiling. All right, you guys. Stick with the skaters. Singles. There's a place we were dreaming about. When we get there, the slots will be found. No amount of gravity will keep us on the ground. All right, you guys, we're moving into four lunges, four single leg squats. Three, two, one. Left leg comes back. Drive that heel into the floor. Make sure you alternate legs each time. Don't drill that knee on the ground. Let it float. Make sure you're completing each rep. All the way down, all the way up. This is it, you guys. Woo. Okay, recover for a second. Grab a sip of water. You guys should be feeling it by now. If you're not, something's wrong with you. <laughs> All right, you guys. We got one more circuit. Well, sorry, one more set of circuit number two. And then we'll move on to our last and final one. Let me give you guys mm, 20 more seconds of recovery. So go ahead, if you feel so inclined, one hand on your chest, one on your belly. Close your eyes. Maximize each recovery breath here. In through the nose, deep into the belly. Out through the mouth. All right, you guys, we're going with skaters. In three, two, one. Eight runs. your last round. Float out of those feet. Pick your heels higher on that run. Let your arms help you get further on that distance. You can go faster than me or you can go slower than me. Nice distance, Barb. Last one, you guys. Stick with the skaters. You're going singles. Don't stop. Keep working hard. And don't forget to breathe. Did you say breathe? Yeah, don't forget. All right, lunges and single leg squats in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are almost there. Sink those hips back. 
Don't let that knee go over the toe on either your lunges or your squats. You are halfway. One more on each leg, you guys. You can do it. Push through. Your glutes will thank me tomorrow. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Recover, guys. Don't sit down. Stay standing. You want to keep moving while you're recovering. Grab some water. Go ahead and shake your legs out a little. That was a great leg circuit. All right, so believe it or not, this last one is our cardio peak. I'm gonna give you plenty of time to get that heart rate back down and recovered. We have some intervals that we're gonna work with. But I'm gonna give you about 15 more seconds to recover before we jump into it. It's too hard to listen and retain information when <laughs> you're trying to recover from something like that. All right, so what we have first, I'm gonna go through and show you each one of them. You guys can keep recovering. If you feel like you're done recovering, you can start doing a side bounce, okay? Keep the arms relaxed. All right, so we have a square bounce with a run. So in the side of your space, you're gonna side bounce three to four times, run up, we're making a square. Side bounce back, run back, complete that square, okay? That's our first move. Kind of an active recovery, but I want you to make it intense. Keep your heart rate up with it. Then we have good old ladder runs, okay? In, out, in, out, okay? Remember, you can totally turn this into low impact. All these moves you can. All right, then we're going, gonna go into some snowboarders, okay? You guys have done these before. Oh, Just under 90 degrees. If that's gonna be hard on your knees, you're stepping okay. into it, okay? Remember, you're almost making a triangle with your feet and hitting the point, okay? All right, those are our three moves. You've got intervals. Grab your last cup of water if you need one. Get that H2O out to the muscles. We're gonna get going in 10 seconds with our square bounce and run. This is it, you guys. We're draining this tank. We've got four minutes left in your workout. Here we go. In three, two, one. How big of a square can you make? I want you to go for distance. I'm going out of my frame. I'm too distant. Watch behind you when you're going backwards. You can go faster than me or slower than me. But pace yourself and pick your intensity. Lateral movement work is so good functional training that helps so much if you're ever going to fall. You're so much more likely to catch yourself if you do lateral work. All right, finish up this square. We're moving into our ladder run. Right? Three, two, one, go. Ladder feet, quick. Thirty seconds here. Pace yourself. You brighten the skies. And now I live without a care. Three, two, one. I told you we're doing snowboarders. We're gonna start the half bounce, okay? Here's our base move. 
Remember your option. No impact. All right, you guys, get up a notch. Go. Three, two, one. Okay. We got 40 seconds of recovery. Remember your options will help your heart rate recover fast. Keep a neutral spine. Bend over, make sure your elbows are not locked. Okay. And your hands behind your head. You guys know I prefer this one. Scientifically proven to work a little bit better. But whatever's most comfortable for you. Check your breathing. Take it out, take the shallow breath out of the chest. Bring it deeper into the belly. Breath work can make such an impact to your workout. Start to be mindful of it and pay attention to it. All right, you guys, we've got two more rounds. We can do it. We're gonna go in 10 seconds back to our square bounce. Now you've done it once, you can pace yourself. We're going in three, two, one. Kick it up a notch where you can. Take it down a notch where you need. You can make this low impact too, guys, with a march I'm lying in our bed with and a side step, okay? Take advantage of your options. But challenge yourself to kick it up where you can. Why did you show up today? Finish up this square. We're into ladder runs. All right, in three, two, one. Let me see those quick feet, quick feet. You want to loosen up your arms? Give them a rest, you can. We're more than halfway. Don't give up now. I have less than two minutes left in the whole workout. Three, two, one. Double half snowboarders, you guys. The top half is Remember, low and half option. Making a triangle with those feet. All right, you guys, let's kick it up a notch. Single deep. Or stick with that half down. Totally up to you. Our workout. Play. Forty more seconds of recovery. All right, if you're following the song, you won't stop. <laughs> okay, but 25 more seconds. All right. Check in with that breath. Reconnect with it. Don't sit down. We're going in five seconds. Back to that square bounce. Get in your position in your corner. Five, three, two, one. Last, last round. Drain that tank. So your maximum effort of less than 30 seconds. Sorry, less than 60 seconds in your whole workout. Even false hope, sorry. <laughs> All 
All right, you guys. This is your last square. Finish it up. We're moving into ladders. There's 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Ladder it up. Fastest ladders you've done all day. Because in 40 seconds, you are done. Five seconds, don't give up you guys. Don't give up on me, don't give up on yourself. Three, two, one. We're not done. 30 seconds. And then we're done. Double half snowboarders, okay? Start with that half bounce. All right, let's kick it up for the last 15. Singles, deep. Do anything for 15 seconds. Just your pace if you need. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was bananas, you guys. That was awesome. All right, breathe, grab some water. Switch our playlist and cool me down. That was awesome. These are champions. All right. Now's the time to really start sipping on that water. Place everything you just sweat out. We're gonna go ahead and start with a twist in the upper spine. I want you to actually come into a super wide stance. Totally up to you if you want your feet out or parallel. You can even go a little pigeon toed. It all stretches a little bit different muscle. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Go ahead and move to a forward fold. Don't drop your head too low. You don't want too much of a blood rush. We're gonna move side to side on this side lunge. Get a nice deep stretch in the inner thigh. If you want to be on your hands, you can. Lots of leg work today. All right, you guys, roll up. Roll those shoulders out. We're gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna stretch out our glutes. So come down to the ground. You're gonna make a four with your legs. So put your opposite ankle to opposite knee. Go ahead and lay down as well. First, you're just gonna push the knee away from you. Open up the hip a little bit. And then go ahead and lace that hand through your leg. And pull that knee into your chest should get a nice stretch down the glute. Check in with your breathing. You just put your body under a lot of stress, good stress, but stress nonetheless. And when your body's stressed, it wants to breathe shallowly in the chest. So pull it deep into the belly. Your stomach should expand like a balloon. A lot of us get into the habit of sucking in all day. <laughs> Go ahead and switch legs. Push that knee away first. But you don't want to be sucking in because then it forces your air to, or your breath to stay in the chest. Let that belly expand like a balloon. Go ahead and lace your hands through. Pull that knee into the chest. Way to show up today, you guys. Hope you guys have a little bit of an endorphin rush. Start your Thursday morning off. All right, go ahead and roll up. We're gonna get a little twist. Fine, so cross one leg over. Hug that knee into the chest. 
and then twist that arm back. Back to the thumb, the wall behind you. Even in this funky position, make sure that belly is expanding like a balloon. And with every exhale, you might be able to twist a little deeper. All right, go ahead and switch legs. And sink into that twist as you exhale. So since we've been talking about breath work, my challenge to you today is to try and pay attention all day. How you're breathing. Are you breathing in through your mouth a lot? Are you a mouth breather? <laughs> if so, just use it as feedback. See if you can consciously start inhaling more through your nose. You're gonna get a lot more oxygen that way. And it's a lot better for your sinuses. And actually, if you guys knew this, if you guys didn't know this, um, breathing, inhaling through your nose is, actually improves your athletic performance a lot. Okay, one last thing, you guys. We're just gonna sink into child pose. This is a great one to just breathe. So sink those hands out in front of you. You can rest your forehead on the ground. If it feels better to have your feet untucked, that's fine. If you want to flatten them out, great. You just took five really big deep breaths. You can just notice your experience. All right, you guys, come up to standing. We're gonna get one last side stretch. If you wanna breathe for longer, you totally can. One foot goes behind the body. I'm gonna stretch across. Deep stretch down the side, those lat muscles. You can feel them from all those push-ups we did. Really relax this shoulder joint. One more big breath here. All right, you guys, shake it out. Thank you guys for showing up this morning. You guys are awesome. Way to put in a big effort and work hard. I love working out with you guys and make my day better. So thank you. I hope that your day is a little bit better now. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Thanks, guys. Thank see you. Ya. Great class. Thanks.